as we come to the end of the showdown promo, it is now starting to slow down a little bit. I didn't expect there to be too much today, but we have got one of the best SPCs back with, finally, the 80 free player pick. It is a 1 of 4 80 free player pick, and you could do it three times per day for the next three days. I don't know why they just don't put this in more, but the best thing about it is it doesn't require that much. It is two gold teams with one rare in it. You literally can get it done within absolute ease. So in terms of the grind, we've actually got a pretty decent one available now. We're going to go ahead and do all three of these because I'm pretty sure I've got everything and then we'll find the results. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to u 7 buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast and reliable, but make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. So that is all three done. It is very simple to do and we've got ourselves the 83 picks. Hopefully something good and this will make it even better. Go ahead, give us some specials. We have an inform, perfect for the 83 times 10. Go for the third one. We're going to get another inform, perfect again. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it because I did see Ben's last second then. And then an 84, of course. I'll take the informs as naturally we need them for the 83 times 10. But the grind just does not stop. Perfectly, the daily gold is going to be there for another four repeatable every day. So that is going to be perfect to be able to get them 83, uh, 83 picks done pretty much most days. If you get four of them, it means you can do two of the gold uh, 83 picks for literally nothing. You can put in the bronze and silvers, then put them golds straight into that 83 pick. Then... From there, we have got multiple SBCs that you can do. There is so much going on at the moment. The newest one as of today is going to be the 80 player pick. So it just seems to be we get an 81 double kind of randomly on like a Wednesday or Thursday. But then we get the 80 or 81 player pick on the Monday. So we have gone back to the 80 player pick this time around, which... Is what it is. I'm, I'm always a bigger fan of player picks than actual upgrades. I feel like you just get more back from it. So when it comes to the 80 player pick, it is pretty simple. Five common, one rare, nice and easy. So it doesn't cost that many players. And luckily, oh, we take an 87. Luckily, you do tend to get at least some decent stuff in it. The big thing with these 87s, 85s, and all the way up to 89s is the exchange is going to be a massive part of it. So obviously with that ISCO, if I'm not willing to do any of the uh, kind of SBCs at the moment, I can just whack him straight into this. So it kind of, it doesn't always take away the, uh, the kind of league SBC grind, but it's a perfect way to kind of negate away from it. So, as we'll see here, I have got a lot of bronze packs from them, 83 picks. It, it, it just is what it is with them. But as you can see, we've obviously got a few that I've just saved up anyway throughout the whole of it. So, for instance, if I was to open up this 19-player pack, which is obviously from Isco himself, it's going to be perfect to replenish the fodder. With the fact that you only need six players for that player pick, this is going to be perfect to get some rares. Maybe even get a cheeky walkout as well. It's always possible. Uh, we get content in this one in fact which is even better i believe that should be conte so that's an 86 back as well as then only well not giving up your 86 either or 87 in fact so then we've got a lot of players that we can go ahead and either sell or put back into the the market really so what we could do with these for instance is palacios with obviously all of the commons we just swap them round and all i'd go and do is just put it back into a player pick so it is kind of that almost always going round fodder because it is so easy to get fodder from the daily gold upgrades from just playing the game to then doing these upgrades as well so for instance with this 80 player pick i've technically got it from just doing one in its entirety anyway so obviously we've got Havertz went so we had palacios and we'll just put all the commons in obviously it's 19 players so what i would do with a lot of them is i don't even know who else should be in this to be honest you should, I think I got everybody. Probably haven't, and it will probably show me in a second. Oh, no, it did. Perfect. So, obviously, from there, we managed to get then 83 duplicate, unfortunately. But then we can kind of move it around and keep going. So, obviously, if I was really fussed, I'd go and put him into a player pick. But what you do is, is literally just go ahead, use the exchange. You can just go buy an 89 if you really wanted to. There is plenty out there that are just as cheap as chips anyway. So, for instance, if I was looking at like a Rodri, I don't know if he's in a special card at the moment. 
but you can normally get them, it's about 30, yeah, about 29, 29 and a half by the looks of it, or even, even a little bit lower, in fact, 27. For about, okay, even, even lower. So you get it for about 26 and a half. That's going to give you 51 players to go with. So, for instance, with something like this, you can obviously get a lot of players back. So that's going to give you nearly 10 player picks in itself. That is going to be a cheaper method sometimes than unless you are doing the League SBC to the absolute principle. So it is a perfect way to start a grind off. And obviously with these uh, kind of upgrades as well, these exchange packs, you can still get stuff from them. You get 85s. She could go back into it. I know you don't get too many from the nine packs, but it's still enough to be able to keep going round. And if you just do it consistently, you will get a lot of grindable players back from it so it is a perfect grind in that sense obviously the 8 3 times 10 the icon pick the players are going to be the end goal but this is just a perfect to get the budget into the fodder really so when it comes to the ruling of it what i normally would go with is kind of 80 normally about 81 and below are going into player picks or upgrade packs 82 to 84 would unfortunately it's gone now at the moment but it will come back is the 85 campaign pick that is or pack in fact that is the perfect one to grind out a hundred percent of the time it doesn't require a team in a week i don't believe but it is gone at the moment because it had a problem with the description it basically didn't say that it had a road to the final but what i would be doing is 83 uh, team of the week picks could use them obviously the 83 times 10 is going to be a perfect one and then you'd go into one of these if you're not willing to do any of their players then anything above that you either go back into the exchange if you want to just grind it out and just get as much as you can or obviously you could just do multiple other things in just just putting it back into other players to get fodder for more stuff. There's lots of different ways to go about it, but I do think in terms of the grind we've got at the moment, it is one of the perfect ones you can do with. The A3 times 10 is always the number one shout. It's just a perfect pack. Obviously, we're going to probably get more and more as we keep going through the game. So we are going to be able to get an 84 times 10, 85 times 10 as we kind of progress on. I'm thinking, do we need any more 82s here? So it is just a constant cycle. I know that there's a lot of people going on about the exchange and how good it is, but it is actually one of the best ways at the moment, which, like I say, takes away almost that League SBC. You can use both together, but I must admit, I, I've not really seen the need to, to be honest. It's kind of just there at this point, and I'm not too fussed about it. So it is kind of one of them ones that if you want to keep doing it, it's definitely not a bad thing, but... I don't think it's necessarily as much worth it now because you just constantly just recycling, but then it's you are paying more and more at times for it. So the 83 times 10, it's going to give us a gold. English, striker, Harry Kane. Oh, it's going to be daily again. Another 85, and this is, again, where I would really like the campaign pick to be back because obviously it does require 285s but it is just the constant grind round for this the player picks into different SBCs into players into icons into challenges into the exchange and just back round again obviously it can't be any lower than 85 it's seven players in fact not nine so that is just going to be the perfect one when that 85 campaign pick comes back that is or pack that's going to be even better because it just was a nice little extra bit of fodder I wouldn't be surprised if they took it down purely on knowing that it was so OP to do because it's one SBC when it comes to like the triple uh, UCL I, it's just it's a bit too much even with this gamble one um, I'm not a big fan of the two SBCs especially when one requires a team of the week as well when it was just 285s and an 84 rated squad it was perfect for that campaign bag so when that comes back that is going to be the number one but I would just mix between 83 times 10 81 double uh, well 80 player picks do some team of the week packs if you obviously keep going too far just to kind of keep them going because to be honest you need a lot of team of the weeks and most definitely that's going to be a one well worth investing in when we do get an abundance of team of the week content but it is just a total grind round let me know down below how you're grinding the game and i catch you all for the next one peace